I just want to call the Leader of the Opposition. So the sooner we, you stop speaking, the sooner I can call him. The Leader of the Opposition has to call. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Since being elected, the Prime Minister has spent just four hours in Alice Springs. At the moment, local residents, business owners, school principals and the Mayor have all been pleading for support, support from you, Prime Minister. Yet locals have seen little evidence of the $250 million package that you promised making any difference to improve community safety. In fact, the situation has got much worse. Children are committing serious crimes. Sexual abuse is at a record high. Juvenile crime and domestic crime and abuse is at a record high. When does the Prime Minister intend to visit Alice Springs? Order. Prime Minister has the call. Thanks, uh, Mr Speaker. I have visited Northern Territory, including Alice Springs, more than the three previous Liberal Prime Ministers combined. Yeah. In two years. Order, in, order. In, in please, two years, please. Mr. Order, Speaker. no. The Prime Minister will pause. The Leader of the Opposition has asked his question. He was heard in silence. We, order, members on my left, we're just going to hear the Prime Minister. It's a serious question. We're going to listen to the answer. Order. Prime Minister has the call. And just last week, Mr. Speaker, I took the entire cabinet to the Northern Territory, right. and we had ministers in Alice Springs, in Catherine, in, in remote Northern Territory as well. And I visited a remote community to commit to $4 billion, $4 billion Order. to fix housing in remote communities, something that was never done by those opposite who, when they were in government, in the 2014 budget ripped money out of. Just like in their last budget, in 2022, they left funding going off a cliff, including in Alice Springs for community organisations, for organisations that look after women's safety, for organisations Order. that look after children. All of the funding stopped on June 30 of that year. And we had to, we had to, we had to engage Order. and find money, including $250 million which we have done with our Better, Safer Future for Central Australia plan. We Order. are delivering... Order. The, no, no, the Prime Minister will put the... The Leader of the Opposition will withdraw that comment. So we can continue on. I withdraw. The Prime Minister in continuation. A bloke who barely leaves his office, who barely leaves his office, doesn't get out and about. Doesn't get out and about. The member for La Trobe. Except for his Wednesday night appearance on Sky News. Order, order, order. The Prime Minister will pause. The Leader of the Opposition will point of order. Well, Mr Speaker, it's on relevance. I know the Prime Minister's got a glass jaw. He was there for four resume, hours. Resume, resume your seat. Order. The Leader of the um, Opposition knows that's an abuse of process. I've been very lenient, very lenient, with taking points of order on relevance and explaining my process of dealing with relevance. That sort of interjection is highly disorderly and highly disrespectful. I'm warning the Leader of the Opposition. So I just want some silence for the remainder of this question. Prime Minister has the call. Mr Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition shows his weakness with his incapacity to stand up on any difficult issue to his backbench, oh, any whatsoever. Oh, and we saw it, we saw it again today. A, a group, a group whose lesson they took from the last election was that they weren't right-wing enough and they weren't conservative enough and they weren't reactionary enough. A group that have gone from being reactionaries to being nuclear reactionaries with the one policy that they've come out with, but the then they won't Deacon. come out with any detail. As I said, I have been a regular visitor to the Northern Territory. Order. I will Mr. continue Bowman. to be a regular visitor to the Northern Territory, just as just as I suspect this bloke will be a continual regular visitor to Gina Reinhart's parties. 